Hey, it's Liam Killen. <laughs> That's a good punch. Here we have the SP404, which is what we're gonna be looking at today. I already have another video on how I set up my multi effects, but I've since done a little bit of exploring and have found a way that's a lot more efficient. For the most part, I've been using this as like a lo-fi effects box for when I perform my tracks live. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Before we get started though, I have a shout out. Brock, Brock, Brock. They were kind enough to send me this pink SP404 cover as well as these knobs, and uh, I really appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of asks recently about how my SP404 is yellow. And yeah, it's basically just a sticker like this that I got from Brock Beats that I just placed over the SP404. <clears throat> just to let you know that this is not a very detailed description of how to put the sticker on. If you want that more detailed description, go visit the Brock Beats website. I'm gonna link that in the description. Bye. They have a really solid selection of stickers to choose from. Personally, I like the solid colors like solid pink or yellow. So yeah, once again, they're called Brock Beats and I also left their purchase page in the description down below. <laughs> Great, so here's the track that we're gonna be working on today. You guys are getting like the pre-release of this track because it actually hasn't been released yet. Lucky! As for multi-effects, we have a few easy to reach ones. So that's filter driver, delay, isolator, DJ effects looper. So I say easy to reach because they really are. Basically it's just one effects per button. But then if you press on multi-effects, you have another 24 effects just for that one button. So there are two ways to maneuver through multi-effects, both of which are effective. <laughs> effective. <laughs> So the first way is by holding down the multi effects button and then using the far right knob to maneuver through them. I've been using this way exclusively up until a few days ago and so far it's worked for me. It's really effective if you want to maneuver straight to reverb because that's the first multi effects. But if you want to maneuver to anything else, it becomes a little bit more difficult to pinpoint exactly where it is. So here's the workaround and my God, is it simple. Hold down multi effects and instead of using the far right knob, press the effects that you want. So let's say you want tape echo, press two. Then you got it. It's way easier. There's one problem though, right? Because there's 24 multi effects and only 12 pads. So they must have split it into two somehow, right? To access the second set of 12 multi effects, you hold down multi effects button as well as DJ effects looper. So let's say I want to get to vinyl simulation. 12 plus 4 is 16. There it is. Another quick tip here to getting to the second half is make sure you press multi effects before pressing DJ effects looper because otherwise you're just going to jump to that effects. I guess the one possible downfall here is that you have to sharpen your simple math skills <laughs> but eventually it's not really about that it's just muscle memory and you'll get to know where your go-to's are. While we're at it I'll show you how I set up my other multi effects for this track. As a general rule, I make sure to set all my effects to zero just so that when I jump to that effects, it doesn't kind of ruin the flow of the track. I'll give you an example. So let's say I'm on filter driver and I move the cutoff over here, let's say. If you know exactly where you want to jump within that effects, then it's definitely an option. But for me, I like to set everything to zero. I find that for me is just a lot safer. So that's my filter drive. Let's head to delay. I like to have like a 30 second note slap kind of thing. I find that's always a great option. It works especially well on the drums. I also always have a second echo slash delay option. So let's head to multi effects two tape echo and we'll set it to like 16th notes. Sometimes it's really cool to jump back and forth between echo and delay, so let's let's try that. I 
I mean, classic effect, let's go to reverb, multi-effects, one. Oh my God, this reverb is so dirty. So this first knob is the length of the reverb. So if you want more of like a gated reverb sound, a shorter length, and if you want something more luscious and uh, open, then you just increase the length. So this sounds really 80s, and then if you open it up. And then the second knob here sets the brightness or darkness of the reverb. I like to have it usually down the middle or a little bit brighter. I find that with the SP404, if the reverb is too dark, it's just too bulky, and it kind of takes away from the vibe of the track. We can't forget vinyl simulation, so multi-FX, DJFX looper, hold them at the same time, four. Vinyl simulation is really similar to filter drive in a way, although filter drive has a much more intense cutoff, so you could cut all the way to the low frequencies. But there's something about the vinyl sim cutoff. I find that it works especially well if you sweep it over like drum fills and stuff like that. I'll give you an example. It's almost like you're plunging underwater for a split second and then coming back up. Let's take a look at Isolator. I feel like I haven't totally mastered this one, but I have my go-to. I set the mids to, what is that? Three o'clock, lows, take them out. Highs, I set to, uh, what is that? Six, nine o'clock. <laughs> Where's the watch? Can't even tell the time. So let's see what that sounds like. We'll go back and forth. The cool thing now is that until I turn the SP404 off and then back on, all these effects are saved. So when I go back and forth between them, the parameters that I set are still there. Super convenient. That does it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. This is definitely the most efficient way of maneuvering through multi-effects. If you're into this sort of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm posting stuff all the time now and it'd be great to have you guys on board. Have fun and I will see you in the next one. I'm just gonna go back underwater. It's peaceful there. Peace.